Legend of Total War here with part 32 of my legendary Swaby Women Warrior Let's Play campaign. On the last episode, conquered Anthea off uh, Tylus and uh, other things. Just can't remember. Alright, so what are we going to do now? We're also severely punishing the Insubras. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it right, but that's how it looks like. It's red. Doesn't matter. Um. Not too sure what else there is to do this turn. I'm pretty sure I sabotaged this army. Yep. So it can't make any attacks. It can still move, but that's okay. It can fuck off. Just trying to stop stop it from attacking Patavium. Yep, coming over here, and how's the public order here? Woods. Oh, could use some improvement. Right. It's because I, um, raised both cities. It's a level 6 army. Gee, they fought a lot of battles if they're at level 6. Because I think level 6, that's... Shit, 302 fucking experience. That's probably about 30 battles. 30 victories. I don't think I've gotten that many heroic victories in this campaign. It's kind of hard to get vero heroic victories with, um, not very good units. Just going around having a look at what's available to do. Ah, oh, right, still got to get you down here. I don't think I can justify sending you down there on Force March. This army down here will likely smash us. Now, if you move... Okay, if you move here, you should be able to attack Pulpadeva next turn anyway. Okay, and you sabotage them. Got to keep them as weak as possible, so that this army doesn't uh, need to have any troubles with this. Because I uh, shouldn't be fighting that one manually. Well, that's pretty bad. You'd be fucking old now, wouldn't you? 61, yeah. No, it's not going to matter. You haven't got much life left in you, you old fuck. going on with you? Ah, oh, that's right. There's a rebellion over here. I'm not too concerned about that. However, if they take Ariminum, it could be a good opportunity for me to take it away from the Celtic Confederation, I suppose, without actually going to war with them. And I've got too many short swords and shit like that for me to justify even attacking them on ambush. Could end in disaster. Just keep them besieging it. Four more turns. Whatever. Okay, let's have a look at the provinces, which should mostly be okay. Uh, what I meant here, this was a region that I must have raised. This region's been absolutely thrashed. Over the course of this campaign. One more turn until most of my level 3 territories are built. Which should see a rather large increase of income. And a decrease in food. A very significant decrease in food, actually. Might cost me about a hundred. Who knows, maybe even more. I 
that's okay. Having a surplus of 193 doesn't provide any bonuses. It's just a safety net. Okay, moving on to the next turn. So far, the Lusitani haven't done anything of any real I dare problems to me. Much for my people. Only a single payment to replenish our sadly diminished coffers. Okay, where are your territories? So that's owned by you as well. A defensive alliance. I could. You're yeah, right. It's only five thousand five hundred. That's not much. Spirits tell us no, you're dead, fuckhead. Ha! <laughs> They've they sailed their army out of there. Which, yeah, they could have done at any point in time. But now I'll be able to take the settlement just by auto resolve. No problem. I think they've recognized that the situation there is fucked. So they're pulling back to their, what will be their last territory. That's all I'll have to take it two or three turns a bit sooner. Got a fucking ton of cash. Hold at least one settlement in 30 individual provinces to provide me with 25,000. 22 at the moment. Raise or sack 10 different settlements. Fuck off, what's with these raising all sackings? I've still got 12 to do anyway. Ugh, whatever. That's gonna be a, a while away, that mission. Okay, so I thought that I was gonna lose like 100 food, but it was more like 30. And my income has just skyrocketed. Another problem that could have come about from it, though, is public order, so I will need to keep an eye on that. It's not going to be drastic, because it's at most 12 negative public order, if it's got four regions. Oh, you said you would fucking make it next turn, you dumb prick. Okay, they merged a lot of those armies together. Now, we can't let Macedon come back. Assassinate this. How can I help? I will end them. Good and you. I am the night in the dark. Sabotage them. I die to break your things. I have seen good. This one didn't do much damage. Maybe it should have done this the other way around. Him assassinate that one. Sabotage. Doesn't really matter. Is that army of mine still recruiting? Up here. Yeah, still got three more turns. Here we go for provinces. 54. We're past halfway to the next level of Imperium, which also means that Civil War is dawning. It's getting close. Okay, now the problem with this is if I go and um, raise this city to the ground, we're likely to have a rebellion, which isn't a big deal, but could be problematic. I can't believe you're still living alive. Good. Yeah, you help a tiny little bit. Probably would be a good idea if I wasn't fucking taxing the bloody territory. 
Okay, now that should be enough for me to justify raising this settlement. Okay, is that a fleet? Yeah. I don't think we need to bring another army in to back up. Back, uh, back this army up. I should be able to just use what I've got here. Oh yeah, could manually resolve that, but at the same time I could also auto-resolve it. And this, it wouldn't necessarily mean the end of the Royal Scythians straight away, but there's not much left they'll be able to do. So what does this region have? Okay, I wouldn't want to raise this anyway. Ah, kinda do. The public order should be okay. And I really don't need to raise it. Ah, fuck it, just occupy it. Don't have to raise everything. Everything on this one could just be converted. So, this... 5%, yeah, whatever, just convert it to... That, this, to this, this, to that. And this, upgrade to this. All good. And the settlement is good in regard to public order. It's actually improving. I could probably tax it this turn. Uh, also, I should probably put an edict there. I'll go and find one before I forget about it. Uh, there's got to be someone around here that's got an edict. It's probably over here in the west. Here's one, sitting on a territory that does not need it at all. Good, extra 10 public order. Uh, that will certainly account for taxation problems, so... That's only a thousand, I guess I don't need that. Just have to remember to tax it next turn. So with, why aren't they starving? Do they have another territory somewhere? And they must. Well, if they do, then it's within Parthia's border, and none of my concern. What we should be doing with these guys is sending them back down here to, to smash up Tyler's. Time to leave. We've won the war against Royal Scythia. And if that's the case, and they do have another territory, this is somewhere else, what I should do is try and get a peace treaty with them now. So they still have another region. Speak quickly and well. Good. Speak Ill now it is to the Parthia's problem. I awesome. If I don't share a border with it, then I don't need to worry about it. Uh, Parthia, how about that trade agreement? Most excellent friend. You guys we fucking suck anyway. I need to do a campaign as Parthia. Just been ready, waiting for the right type of campaign. What have you got for me? Level 1 region. What's this? So 12 plus f f 7. That's 19. I might be able to actually take Nicomedia this turn. It's a bit risky. Because they do have these Thracian warriors, and they're they're good. So there's Gallo Thracian infantry, but at the same time they've also got a lot of garbage, a lot of garbage. In fact, an initial an initial skirmish would probably be a good idea. It doesn't look like they've got any cavalry except for whatever the fuck this is, which could be oath sworn. They usually are. Take the fight to them. 
However, if we come over here and besiege this, and then suddenly uh, that that can't really it won't work. He's got much further to go to get here. But they're not going to leave Nico Media undefended forever. So let's let's fucking get over there and smash it. Ah, oh, fuck off. Alright, so that ruins that plan, but what we can do, smash these pricks up, and then just go back to Anthea. Yeah, that's okay, at least we've got something to recover. Oh, fuck, that's not what I wanted to press. Fuck me, bitch. Ah, oh, crap. Still within their... Sphere of influence. Uh, hell no, we don't stand a chance against that now. When your feet bleed, you can Make it just back to Anthea. Good. At least we took out one of their armies. Okay, and over here, well, we can obviously deal with this now. And this settlement here... Oh, I don't know if I want to raise this. They've got some good stuff. Ah, fuck it. I'll just do it. We need to do it for those missions, or else we'll never get victory conditions. Anyway, the public order problems will disappear in time. Oh, the Etruscan League. The fuck are they doing here? They've actually got quite an empire. Well, I wouldn't call it an empire, but quite a kingdom. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with honey. Speak please. Mm, I could get trade agreements with them, but they're sitting in territory that I want. Where's my spy? Can you make it over here? Yes, you can. Sabotage this army for me, bitch. Okay, we're in... Oh, they've taken their last territory, the, um, Insubras. So we can't just go to war with the, um, Celtic Confederation. Well, I could, but I don't know if I really want to just yet. I mean, they are all over the place. It would certainly impact on my reliability. How many allies do they have? Rome. So they've got a total of what's one, two, three, four, five, six territories. They're at war with Carthage. I would have thought. You know, Carthage bloody liberated you and you're at war with them. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. Holy fuck. Syracuse owns all of this. How the fuck did that happen? And Carthage is in Syracuse. This is this is a fucking world gone topsy turvy. Bizarre. Let's see if I can get a military alliance so I can actually see exactly what they're doing. I am eager to hear your embassy. Inspired as it uh, Yeah, no. I wonder what I am a priestess of the old one. I think we kinda need to get rid of that army. Oh, you're not a full stack. Hmm. Okay, you can reinforce, that's good. Come 
over here. And then you attack this. Hopefully they stand and fight, so we can just get rid of them. Good. Okay, that's alright. This army here took a beating. Doesn't really matter. Taking down the Insubras is a good thing. Actually, it might be a better idea to force march these guys into Batavium, just so they get that little bit extra recovery. Preparations for claiming uh, Ereminum. I do also need to go to war with the Celtic Confederation. Don't know if it's a good idea to do it right now. Yeah, come to Medlan. I mean, I've got six armies in this area. I really shouldn't have a problem if we if we strike at most of their settlements at once. Actually, they've got more than six. I've got seven. All right, there's two settlements here. I was counting them as one before. There's a line right there, but the word is sort of covering it up. So I've got seven regions. Not a big deal. So now I'm sitting on fifty-six. Shit, you're pretty high level up as well. And you're also very fucking old. And you're old as well. Old agents are no good, because they're on death's door. Okay, yeah, just sit here and improve the public order for now. Military administration. Good. Reduced upkeep costs. Not by heaps. Probably because you're a crap agent, but whatever. Because someone's going to be. Don't need the money anyway. Everything seems under control there. Okay. Territories. Let's have a look. That's almost done. kinda hoping that a conflict between these two happens so that the Macedonians are at least dealt with. Or, or whichever, I don't care. I don't want to have to kill both. It's their fault the fucking Macedonians are there, they can't keep their shit together. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Good, everything's under control. Moving on. As long as Roman strength remains, we would be honored to count you as friends and more. Uh, normally I'd say, nah. And today I'm going to say nah as well.
I beg you, take up the sword of Ares and attack these people. They menace us all. No, they don't. I'm trading with them and they're making me money. I'll deal with them when they're on my border. Son of a bitch. Abandon the fucking area. Bithynians are back with a rebellion. Don't tell me they're just gonna go and, like, get a whole fucking mercenary st Oh, good, it's nothing. Ah, shit. Please don't fucking die. Ah, you can't die if we don't lose a single fucking man. Or woman. My people are proud, as are yours. But pride does not stop a man having friends. Fuck fr- uh, Yeah, fuck friends. Seriously, go fuck yourself. It is not pleasing to gods or men. I don't give a fuck. I expected more from one considered wise. Ha! <laughs> wise. I don't think anyone considers me wise. They consider me brutally violent. That's how you forge an empire, with brutality. Not with fucking friends. Alright, so what are we doing here? It's... nothing's going on. Uh, alright, so they got rid of that Macedonian army, and now they're moving on to Pella, by the looks of it. Okay, good. Well, they've left this open for me to go and crush. I'm pretty sure... No, I'm not raising that. It's... It's good. Leave it alone. Good. Got control of the whole province again. Hopefully, I'm not going to lose any of these settlements ever again. And if you want to come over here and sabotage that, that would be awesome. They'll get no recovery because they're not in their own territories. Alright, if they assault Pella, they're going to get fucked. Great, now we can't bloody attack this. Could besiege it though. What's this here? There's a transports. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. I don't want to deal with that. These are these Tylian fucks have the have pretty good armies. Or at least better than most that I've uh, encountered so far. Okay, none of this is a concern. The um, what are they called? Parthians. They'll eventually probably declare war on me, but I'll worry about that another time. Okay. I don't know if I should, I don't think I should sail to Sinope. I don't think that would be a good idea. If there's any navies down this way, they will absolutely destroy me. This is, I think, the only settlement that actually has two ports. Anyway, catch up. Once all my armies down here unite, I'll have five. And there's no way Tylus will be able to resist me this time. There's no fucking peace treaty. You will die. And then I'll take on Galatia. Who are... quite strong. But I've always said that taking on a bigger 
enemy is a lot easier than taking on lots of little ones. So once I take out his armies, or their armies, I'll be able to just sweep across this with relative ease. Who knows, maybe his armies, or their armies won't even be there. They'll be on the eastern front, because they've got a lot of enemies. And I might just be able to take fucking five regions off them without fighting a single one. Okay, so what are we doing here? Should we just wait here for a turn and consolidate? Or... Yeah, I think that is what we should do. I keep forgetting to fucking recruit. Recruit, dumb shit. Okay, you... Get rid of this guy. No, 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 that's manipulation. Jeez, I've been getting a lot of luck lately. Yeah, and get rid of these as well. Or this one. Oh, well, I guess it makes up for some bad luck previously. Okay, upgrading all this shit. So what territories am I not taxing? Totoron. Tutor on, uh, whatever, it's stable, it's not, wouldn't make much money I'm assuming, so not a big deal, it's, yeah, just don't bother with that. Pannonia is being taxed. Germania Minor. Uh, it would cause public order penalties, but not by much. We've still got provincial instability, so next turn it should be in the green, apart from the fact that it's winter. Now, also, I'm worried about that Sequani bitch. Uh, but it seems to be okay, everything's under control. This is still increasing. Slaves is going down. Plus, I think we're building here, right? Yeah, so that'll be stable. Go and just start saving some more money. Just in case of who knows. Good. This region is now as big as it's going to get. Which is an indication that I've been playing this campaign too long. Oh, well, this isn't a Blitz one, so can't really help that. No need to sabotage that again. Maybe come down this way. Right, all of that's sorted. Let's see. What are we doing here? Just wait. Uh, yeah, keep them there, at least until the Insubras are dead. Which shouldn't be too much longer. Is that a fleet? Yeah. They're no real threat. Ah, oh, good, I get a chance to upgrade these. So, this will upgrade level 2 ammunition. Extra 3 shots. Doesn't improve their missile damage, though. Although it's at 32... If I was to recruit some new ones, what would it be at? 34. It's pretty good, but whatever. Not worth starting again with them. And we can't upgrade that any further. So any new t uh, upgrades have to come directly from the tech. I think there are some techs in here that do increase uh, missile damage for archers. There it is, 5% missile damage for all units, or land units. Uh, whatever. Oh, hang on, there's another one there, 10% missile, so 15% in all. And that's okay, that's another 2 points. 
but that doesn't need to be upgrading for the units. That'll happen to everyone automatically. And also, it's ages away, so don't bother about it. Sisters of fuck. That's a really lame name, but whatever. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, shit. Let me think. Yeah. I think it's time to go to war with the Celtic Confederation. So I'm going to put these guys on the border here. They'll be at full strength next turn. And the other one will reinforce. We need to blitz them. We need to basically smack them so hard they don't even know what hit them. One army's not going to be enough for this. We need to focus on this general area here first. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, no, I got a better idea. Go to Medland. Oh, shit. There's no way this army can make it there, so you come to Genoa and defend it. Ugh. Public order here's not great. I'll find another edict. Oh, there we go, it's not needed there. Actually, it kind of is. It's only got plus three. How the fuck is that happening? Raiding? Oh, right. Bastards. Whatever. They'll be dead soon. Okay, that's all sorted. Let's move on to the next turn. Okay, so what else is going on? Good, nothing bad happened that turn, or that end turn. Got plenty of money out of it as well. Okay, I think it's just because we're standing in attrition area. Uh. Well, we'll need to take out that before the city, I think. They moved that fucking army out of the way. And they're raiding here, the bastards. Now, going to war with them is a big deal because they're not weak. But then again, neither am I should certainly be capable of taking them down. And I'll also be denying myself from 1,000 worth of trade, but taking these territories will provide me with more than that. Friend, oh friend. shit, non-aggression pact. Have good wine until we can talk no more. Let's cancel that. Oh shit. We will oh crap. This is gonna suck. Yep, straight back to there. Got, finally got myself back to in the green, and then threw it all away. I just didn't need it anymore. Warrior now there's nothing here. We take this settlement for the prime. Besieging settlement. God, there's never, there hasn't been any situations that have called for a manually resolved battle in this video 
so far. And that's how much friendship is worth with me. Fucking nothing. I will kill you at the first opportunity I get. And we'll raise this. Waldo Bert. Fucked name is that. This one here is a little bit trickier. Ah, shit. For the all I might have to fight this battle manually. Which is not too bad. Should make things interesting at least. Oh yeah, fighting this one manually should be the way to go. We've got some short swords, but breaking them Certainly be a good idea. Uh, there's nothing in this that I should be concerned about. It's just a small army. Good, it's nice and bright. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so, let's see, what are we going to do? Put the archers on the high ground. Good, he's right in their bloody face. Our hidden units have been discovered. Gonna smash those Celtic light fuckers. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Fucking prick. The archers are destroying him. Awesome. Fuck is wrong with you? Get over there. Take out the spear nobles more than anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Don't worry about getting all of them. Spear warriors. Alright, that's enough shooting. We've got this under control now. Oh, shit. Smash into him. What's going on over here? Who are you fighting? The short swords? Yeah, whatever. They're breaking. Everybody's breaking. We are losing our advantage. No, we're not. What the fuck are you doing? Ugh, maybe I took more casualties than I should have. Not a big deal, I mean, they're very re much replaceable. Ready. Maybe I didn't do as well as I thought. Ah, it doesn't matter. Because I like the casualties to be evenly distri uh, distributed, and they're not. They're not. I don't recall it saying the enemy general is dead. The battle is turning. Our general is under attack. Uh, hang on a sec. We haven't actually won the battle yet, have we? Oh fuck! I have. I didn't get a chance to run the rest of them down. Doesn't matter. That'll do. Ah, uh, there's only f less than a hundred left. No, I didn't kill the general. That uh, doesn't matter. Now we just need to take the settlement. They can do it by themselves, but we need to bring some reinforcements in here to limit the amount of casualties I'm going to take. They'll need to come in by force march. Now it's more than likely I'm going to lose these two units. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure there is a recruitment center here for them. Yes, there is. Excellent. So I can get the back straight away. Wow. 
Well, maybe not then. In fact, it might be a good idea to actually get rid of them and just retrain them, because they're really low on numbers. The settlement here is to be raised. Ooh, minus 75 public order. That's right. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. Look at the situation. I've got 59 territories bordering the next level of Imperium. This, the Civil War is going to be soon. I can tell that much. How the fuck? Look at this. I have 68% influence, and I have literally not given an absolute fucking flying fuck about about influence at all in this campaign. And in campaigns in which I've actually tried to do something about influence, it's just slipped away from me like crazy. I've literally denied every situation to, um, to gain any influence at all, and I have fucking two-thirds influence. This is ridiculous. That's how... I mean, a lot of the complaints, I think, in regard to Rome 2 are bullshit, but the pol politics system, I, I do agree, it's, it's worthless. Anyway, that's the end of this video, so like and subscribe. Part 33 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.